and welcome back to Coffee Time. This morning we're going to look at a website that we were shown at FETC of Florida that got oohs and ahs from the, from the crowd in the SmackDown session where it was demonstrated. And it's a, it's a website that allows you to instantly create a webinar environment. You can share your screen uh, free of charge, works across platforms. So let's take a look, grab a cup of coffee, let's look at a website called ScreenLeap.com. All right, I don't have this in my Symbaloo uh, list yet, so I'm just going to type in ScreenLeap.com, and you'll see immediately I've got some options here. Now, I've already signed in. I leave it signed in. You'll see my name's at the top of the screen. Um, I can add friends to the list where I could easily be able to begin to build a social network in ScreenLeap, but I want you to concentrate on the middle of the screen. Here are the three options that I have. One is to broadcast my screen, which means that Anybody in the world can see it, no sign-in required, no code, no nothing. When I set up my account, I told it I wanted it to land at Tim underscore Childers. So I could send out this web address, screenleap.com slash Tim underscore Childers. I could post that to Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plurk, send it out in an email. Anybody that clicks on that link will automatically join and be able to see my screen on their device. I can use this on PCs or Macs to broadcast from. Um, I don't believe it works in Chrome. I think I ran into that problem earlier. Um, but if I'm receiving, if I'm watching the webinar, I can watch it on a PC or a Mac or an iPad or an iPhone or an Android tablet or an Android phone. Anything that I have, I can watch it because uh, it works across platforms. If I want to share my screen privately, then it will set up a code and I can give only the viewers that I want to see the webinar can access it with the code. Again, free. And you'll see underneath that, if someone has sent me a code, I can, pl I can plug that in there at the bottom and immediately begin to see what they're sharing. So let me just show you a little bit about what this does, if I want it to come up privately, it's going to install a little Java outlet uh, applet rather in the background and it should do that automatically for me and you'll see that uh, immediately I get this green box and the choice at the top says to share inside the rectangle I can share my entire screen so my entire screen now is visible um, if I wanted to share just a portion of a smart board screen then I could set that green tile around the smart board or the PowerPoint slide inside the program. And that gives me access to all the tools on the outside. Nobody sees me operating them. So generally, and I think I've, I've mentioned this before, when I'm doing webinars or screencasts like this, if I'm doing a tutorial for teachers, I show the whole screen. I want teachers to know everything that I'm clicking on. But if I'm doing it as a teaching tool for students, then I usually share just the part of the screen I want them to concentrate on so that I have access to all the tools along the side or at the top or the bottom and I can click on those outside they don't get in the way of students watching my mouse go all over the screen that kind of stuff so here's the code at the bottom I'm going to enter that into my iPad now I've tried this once before by mirroring my iPad to the screen and doing that it just starts showing up copy after copy after copy after copy after copy of my iPad so we're gonna do this a little differently um, and so I'm going to pause the video for just a second while I set my iPad up. Welcome back. All right, so I have my iPad set up over here, uh, and you'll see that I've typed in the code, and I'm going to be looking a couple of different directions while I'm recording here and recording on my iPhone, so this is going to be a first for me. Um, and if I just click Join the Screencast, immediately it brings up on my iPad the screen that I have on my Mac and you'll see my mouse is moving and so if I wanted to go um, let's say that I wanted to open up a new browser and it's going to open up that browser and um, I can I can move this little thing out of the way so that it's not in the recording very much doesn't take up my screen and I can click on my home screen here on my computer and immediately it changes to my home screen here on the iPad 
So I could do this with websites. I could be showing a Keynote file, a PowerPoint file, uh, whatever I wanted to show on my computer. All right, so let me turn this off. Now, <clears throat> let me come back over here, um, and you will see that um, how easy that was. Now, here are some implications that you might think about, um, and that is if I'm a teacher and I want to do professional development with other teachers, I could, I could set that up at any time from the comfort of my home, just like I'm doing right now in my kitchen, uh, displaying something like this. There is a, there's a, a, an audio conferencing feature you'll see down here at the bottom. And basically, I would dial in on a number on my phone, and I could be talking on my phone. If I've got my headphones plugged into my phone, then I'm hands-free. Um, I can, and then the people who want to hear me talk, they can dial in on their phone, put it on speaker, set it down on the desk. They can watch everything that's going on and listen as well. Free webinar professional development. We're in a one-to-one -one iPad school at our school. So if I wanted to show various things to my students, I could do that live in the classroom. I could put something up on the big screen, but I could also be sharing my screen with my students' iPads. And from time to time, they could take just a quick screenshot of uh, what I'm talking about, what I've put on their screen. They could, they could pull that into an app like Notability. They can write on it. Uh, they can make all kinds of notes to my notes and then put that in an Evernote file, put it in their Dropbox, um, however they want to save it in their three ring binder. Um, those kinds of things are available. So immediate, my presentation to them, they can take screenshots, save them. They have my notes. Um, that kind of thing is available. I can be recording what I'm doing while I'm showing it, like I'm doing now, and then it's available to post to YouTube, like I'll be doing with this video. Um, so there are a number of applications, and it's really only uh, limited by your imagination. If I have a if I have a student that's at home, they're homebound, <clears throat> but they have internet access, I can arrange to do tutoring with that student, show my whiteboard screen. I can write on the whiteboard screen, I can write out sentences, I can write out math problems, I can write out uh, science formulas, and that student can watch on their screen, we can interact, um, and, and they can receive tutoring from home. Um, so a number of different applications. I think you'll like Screen Leap. So I, I hope that I'll get an invitation from you at some point, maybe to join your network or to watch a webinar that you are presenting. So grab a cup of coffee, enjoy your day, go try Screen Leap on your own. See you next time.